everyone. Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, we got a couple uh, sort of rumors here for you from Nate Drake, aka Direct Feed Games. He was on the uh, Spawncast last night, but he actually has a couple things floating out that we're going to talk about, including some Resident Evil news and stuff revolving around the Assassin's Creed franchise on Nintendo Switch. Now, before we jump into that news, which literally will be there, I don't know, within a few seconds here, I'm going to remind you we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. To enter, head down to the pinned comment or uh, the description and click on that viral sweep link to enter. I wish everybody luck, and without further ado, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get into the news. And oh boy is this pretty exciting we're going to start for first off with resident evil now this is like the original resident evil what we're actually talking about that outrage game that's been rumored from dust golem for quite some time it appeared in a capcom leak last year and dust golem has been kind of hinting and suggesting that it's supposed to be some major switch exclusive resident evil game that has the same budget as resident evil village uh but it's kind of weird because that might not actually be the Switch Resident Evil game, although there is a Switch Resident Evil game supposedly in the works. So he posted this on a forum. Uh, again, it comes from Nate Drake. It says, you know, it was originally stated by Duskull that it's a high priced AAA Resident Evil game for Switch. Nate Drake disputes this by saying it's actually a multiplayer project that has likely been canceled and it was never coming to Switch. So the Outrage game specifically was likely not a Switch game according to Nate Drake. However, he does note that Resident Evil Switch is something, but it's totally unrelated to Outrage, and he doesn't really know if Resident Evil Switch remains an active project or not. He just knows that Outrage has been canceled. So with Outrage supposedly canceled, and obviously uh, this other Resident Evil Switch game just kind of sort of in a TBD situation, uh, it leads us to wonder, are we ever really going to get new Resident Evil games on Switch? Yeah, we get the old ones, but are we ever going to get new ones? Uh, so. Again, these are obviously rumors, commenting on rumors. Uh, we don't really know what to think about this. You know, Tinfoil had it, if you would like. I'm cool with that, uh, but I don't like the Tinfoil hat because it itches. So the bottom line is uh, that I think we deserve Resident Evil on Switch. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it wouldn't be a big deal to get a Switch exclusive Resident Evil. And the Switch is about to cross 100 million units on the market. Not having a Resident Evil game that's actually, not if not exclusive, at least newer on the Switch, is strange to me. Now, I know Resident Evil 7, I, I believe, was uh, able to be streamed over in Japan to Switch, but we haven't, you know, Village isn't on Switch in any capacity anywhere, even as an experimental streaming title. Obviously, we haven't gotten any anything else. You know, there, there's been other Resident Evil games, like the Revelation series, that used to come to the Nintendo platforms first at times. So, it's a little bit disappointing, but... <sighs> What are you gonna do, right? Supposedly we're still getting Resident Evil, so that's what matters. But beyond Resident Evil, there's another major third party game we should be talking about. And that title is, da -da -da -da, Assassin's Creed. Now look, we have had Assassin's Creed games already on Switch, so it's not like we haven't, right? We got like Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered or something. Uh, we've had a couple other ones as well. Uh, but we haven't necessarily gotten everything. There was a collection pack at one point known as the Ezio Collection that never came to Switch, which didn't really make a lot of sense since we got Assassin's Creed 3, why can't we get the Ezio Collection? Uh, and obviously we didn't get any of the newer Assassin's Creed games either. Uh, Valhalla, as an example, being the most recent release that I played last year on my Xbox Series X, and it was a lot of fun, and I actually really, really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, and I've really enjoyed a lot of the more recent games, but yeah, Switch has not exactly gotten that kind of support from Ubisoft. Even though Ubisoft is a supporter of Switch, we don't not really get all their most modern games. Well, Nate Drake has an update for us that at least gives us something, even if it's something we probably should have already had. Um, he states on Twitter that the best Assassin's Creed is coming to Switch soon, which there, there's nothing announced at the moment, um, and he used an Ezio GIF, which suggests that the Ezio collection could be coming, but if not the Ezio collection, because he specifically said, you know, the best Assassin's Creed, and again, that's highly subjective, but there is a widely stated opinion that Assassin's Creed 2 is the best Assassin's Creed game, so 
bare minimum, it sounds like that could be coming, especially when you consider the Ezio uh, GIF, and that is where Ezio kind of began his journey. So, yeah, uh, I honestly think this is awesome. The Assassin's Creed 2 is one of the few Assassin's Creed games I have played from start all the way to finish. That lets you know how much I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the time period, maybe more than anything. It's just kind of a fun time in history. Uh, but, yeah, it sounds like at least Assassin's Creed 2, if not the entire Ezio collection, is coming to Switch soon. Now, I understand that might not be exactly what we want, right? Like, it's good to have it, but we'd rather have the more modern Assassin's Creed. Like, it would be cool to hear, oh, Valhalla is coming over, or the next Assassin's Creed is going to consider Switch as a platform. Just like it would be nice to consider Resident Evil 9, whatever that ends up being, if, or, or, or something like that coming to Switch. That would have been really, really awesome. Um, and I know, you know, just talking about old titles uh, like the Ezio collection may not be what we want. Now, the new Resident Evil game on Switch is supposedly new, so that's nice. But yeah, when we're talking about Assassin's Creed, it would be cool if Ubisoft gave us a bit better support than just releasing the old games. Now, I'd rather have the old games than no games. I mean, that's the worst thing we can do is have zero games. But yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Another quick hitter for you guys this weekend. Uh, I hope that you guys are having a lovely time. I actually got to take my kids sledding in a little bit because we got quite a bit of snow today. So uh, they're really excited about that. That being said, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubblejats from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.